Yeah, bro. It just goes back to that, like, not living in fear. I think fear comes from, like, most of the time, death, like, being afraid of dying. Yep. Mm. And not having that higher power figure in your life will contribute a lot to that fear. Absolutely. When you die and you don't believe in a God, it's just void. It's blackness. It's Mm -hmm. nothing, right? And a lot of people, they don't want that. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are afraid to take that risk. But you got God on your side. You you believe that there's a guardian angel or whatever, someone watching over you. It takes a lot of that fear off of your back. Absolutely. It it gives you a lot of courage to do things that some people probably wouldn't if they Mm -hmm. didn't have that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you reminded me, there's this, uh, I forget like the name, the author's name, but uh, his entire philosophy is that our fears, every single one of our fears is rooted f- in the fear of death yeah. that yeah. we all have. Yeah. yeah. And so everything just manifests itself, whether it be like a yeah. small little thing or, or a yeah. huge part of your personality comes from the fear of death. Mm-hmm. And that's why tapping into spirituality removing that fear of death just gives you complete freedom in your yep. life. Yes. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yes. Exactly. Being at peace with it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it. Like, do you remember in Vancouver, bro, we had this experience in Vancouver. <laughs> like, so we're, we're from the East coast, right? Mm-hmm. Like we don't know what weed is actually supposed to be like, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Wait, what you mean? Like, like, like uh, I don't know. I just, my perception of like what weed is supposed to do to you is just not right. Like growing up in high school, just like smoking, like basically grass, oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And like we, we were in Vancouver and we were in like a, a dispensary and we grabbed like the first thing we, we, we saw and then we were like all excited and like we like we're about to get on on the train and five people one joint bro we all took like two hits of the joint bro and we were like oh is that then, your first time smoking or no no, no, no okay, but just okay. my first time smoking years, on the but, west coast yeah and uh, you never had Cali weed no nah, bro really? nah, not that never. I know of at least never. I don't know but oh, we were on this train like <laughs> what the fuck is going on right now? It was absolutely terrifying, but we got back to the crib oh, um, God. and we literally just like all five of us just dissected the universe and dissected the meaning of life and like we death, out the meaning of life. like, and we understood really? that like death is just not even like something to be afraid of. Yeah. And like we all woke up the next morning and we were just so like content bro. Yeah. at peace, bro. At peace, at bro. Peace. And like yeah. that shit, I don't know. I'll never forget that. We were just all sitting there like, God damn, like we understand, bro. Definitely like, changed my like perspective. Same. Like I, I'm a changed man because of that. Same. I think on, on the on the plane ride home, I was like looking out the window. I was like, you know, if I die right now, like <laughs> I'm fine with that. I, I, I was, you know? <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not, not bro, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not kidding, bro. I was like, I'm so content with my life right now. Like if I go, so be it. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking reincarnate to a different person and I'll, you know, it's just, so it's always funny, just came bro. together. That put you on the reincarnation vibes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah bro. I was like, I'll, some I'll, crazy I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be fucking back. I'll be born. Like, bro. I'll be born as soon as I die. Yes. That's yes. Funny, you know? bro. Yeah, absolutely, bro. That's that, hilarious. That's a beautiful thing that we came to. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, oh, yeah. And I unfortunately slept through it. <laughs> yes, bro. That's the yeah. famous we literally, punchline yeah. of this story. We literally all were like, we literally figured out the meaning of life. And then Matt on the couch, he wakes up, he goes, man, you guys figured out the meaning of life and I fucking fell asleep for it. Like, what? Dude, it, it did something different to me. It just put me out. I was just like, I'm yeah, going Got the bed. cobra, got the yeah. weak cobra, bro. Yeah, but it was crazy yeah, how we real. got there. We're just like, Little by little, just like yes. you adding something, me adding something, Clay yes. adding oh, something, yeah. Joe adding. It was just it was like weird. So cool. And then we just came to that conclusion. We're just like, oh, okay. It's amazing. Very weird. Have you had a psychedelic experience before? I was just going to ask you because it sounded like it was going into that. Yeah, bro. I've, I've tripped a few times, a little more than I probably should have. <laughs> um, yeah, bro. Shrooms, psychedelics, it'll all bring you to that exact same realization. Yes. Um, and yeah, bro, like I remember I had this one trip in particular where I did think about like the ski accident and mm-hmm. stuff and I just fucking broke down crying. It's insane. It was just, Damn. Like, I really thought about all of that shit and like yeah. I just felt love. I felt love and you know, appreciation and all of this stuff. Um, I also had another realization where like I was tripping, I took like an eighth and I was like, oh my God, bro, I, I feel can't like, that. I feel like every single ancestor that lived before me is living inside me yes <laughs> totally wow. totally oh, god totally. how'd that feel like Type shit bro it just felt i felt like a warm layer of just like their spirit living inside because think about it right your parents you're their offspring you literally have their energy inside you they gave energy it turned into something and that's so happened to be y'all mm. and you gotta think someone came before them someone came before them their energy is in their grandparents their, you know and so on and so on sure. down to the first 
ancestor, whoever it was, probably we're all related to that one ancestor. Yeah. We all have them living inside us. And I, that's when I had the whole realization, like, bro, we're all family, like, all this shit. Facts. You know? Facts. Um, but yeah, bro, like, it's just down to that guardian angel thing where I feel like my ancestors are watching over mm-hmm. me. They live through me. Mm-hmm. You know? They protecting all of us. And yeah, bro, just grateful. I love psychedelics, bro. That should be bringing so much stuff to my attention that I always felt was there, mm-hmm. but it just solidifies it yes, in a sense. Yes, exactly. You know? Exactly. Um, yeah, bro. Especially when it comes like this, just the meaning of life and why the fuck we're all here. Like, you know, yeah, all of that stuff. Um, that's that's beautiful. So dude. interesting. I, you know, you you go throughout life just like experiencing everything, and yeah. and some things you just you just don't make sense of until oh. you get those like yeah. little reality checks. Yeah. It's so interesting how that shit works because it then is. your your brain chemistry is literally altered from there on out. It is probably <laughs> right. It definitely is. And it in definitely. some cases, well, in most cases, I feel like it's positive, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, sometimes people go down, and it goes down to that fear that we were talking about. Some people go down that rabbit hole of death, sure. and they'll get a negative mm. experience mm. just thinking about that because they're afraid of that voidness, that emptiness, and all of that. But yeah, bro, like same as what y'all were saying, I treat death as just the next phase. Like that's it. We're in this phase called life, and the phase after that, you don't know what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Your soul could get transported to the astral plane, and you can tap into any anything at all. Like right. you don't know, you have no idea. You feel me? Yeah. Or it is mm. just plainness or whatever. And it is what it is. It's it just is. something that right. we all have to deal right. with. That's right. right. I'd rather go out in this world hoping and knowing that there's something there than going out thinking that there's nothing at all. You know. So yes. If, yeah. I'm, if I'm ignorant, then ignorance is bliss. You know? <laughs> Facts. Facts. Yo, Facts. Yo, yes, bro. Question about uh. Yeah, oh oh yeah 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 okay cool cool well first let me say because i've also had psychedelic ex- experiences before and yeah. very much relate to what you're talking about yeah. but the weird thing about this experience with weed was that like i think when you're on shrooms or or any psychedelic you almost like intuitively or like intrinsically understand things mm-hmm. like okay. almost as if someone is showing it to you yeah. like you felt yeah. you felt this layer yeah. of yeah. like all of your ancestors like and their energy living through you and, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. with with that particular experience we were literally like we like figured it out with our brains it was very weird we were like exactly like it wasn't like oh i understand it was like but if you do this and and then this and then and then we figured it out (laughs) so it's very odd because like come i had come from experiences like that Uh, but um all right so this is what prompted the the discussion Uh um say out loud i am and then your name i am john okay say it in your mind Mm mm-hmm Okay, which one is the real you? Well, I think there's two versions of ourselves. Two versions, okay, yeah, go I, go deeper. I think there's the person that we talk to internally, and then there's a the person that we talk to externally okay. to other people. Okay, yeah. let me blow your mind. The real you is the one that knows the difference between the my, the voice inside and the voice outside. The so real you- three? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the real you is the observer. Hmm. Because okay. you are not your yeah. thoughts, you are not what you say. You are much more fundamental yes. than just your thoughts and the things that you say. The real you is the, the one that observes. Uh, you know what I mean? 